doing it and I was like hold on let me make this video okay so right now we're just gonna resume from where I'm at um this is very much beginner level so I don't even need to start from the beginning like it I already have the wig cap done and I was just <sighs> okay so I like to cut my lace before I put it on like the past two weeks I put on I was no the past yeah the past two weeks I decided to just cut it after the wig is glued on but this was my original method that I was doing so I was like I'm gonna just stick with it so, I'm currently cutting out my ear tabs. I just cut this one. As you can see, I don't know why a lot of people find cutting ear tabs hard. I know I'm doing it wrong or something, but I just come see where it is. Okay. I'm literally doing it to the camera, so not too much. Oof. Okay. So, dang, y'all know I'm used to doing this in the mirror. Like I wasn't even on the lace. Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, I gotta do it in the mirror. Sorry, hold on. We're starting in the mirror at least. And then with the ear tab, you're just cutting up. Cutting up and around your ear. And it all the back. And then you cut that lace off. I usually do it way easier than that, but I guess trying to do stuff in the phone is not the easiest. So now that I have this done, I'm gonna put this lace back on the doll head and start putting glue. So yeah. Oh Lord. Big egg. They want to show y'all I'm using my HD wig cap. HD. This one comes toned. I got this one from Timu for free. But Amazon also has some. Well, I'm going to have to show y'all in a minute. I thought it was in here. Amazon has some, but theirs are more like the regular wig cap color. But anyways, let's begin. I only went to grab this because I like to use this sometimes to for the wig. Anyways. I don't know how many layers I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna lie, like sometimes I feel like I put too many layers, but I only be putting like four to five. But sometimes it's like days after I have the cap on and be hot. I mean, the wig on, it's like it be hot and then the front start looking a little like when, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch glues. I'm gonna start blaming on the glue because not everybody in stop be messing up like mine. And it's just kind of pisses me off. I'm gonna switch over to bowl holes. Is that what it's called? Cause that's what um, I see a lot of YouTubers use that one when I used to watch those big install videos. So I usually like mix it in with this. Let's put it on here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Do y'all feel like I'm glowing today? I feel like I'm glowing. So, and you know what? I'm also going to try something else in a minute. I'm also, like, I'm literally trying to correct stuff that I've been doing lately. Because in the videos that I used to watch, she used to say, like, you need at least, like, an inch of, like, the glue. First of all, the glue needs to go on the wig cap and below it as well. You can't just rely on this glue sticking on your forehead. That's what I learned, so... I'm gonna stick with that information. See, see, I'm doing too much for the first layer. Like, I think it's just because I'm doing it in the camera. Okay, I'll be back for the next layers. So I decided that as I'm doing this, I'm gonna be showing y'all 
um, my Korean skincare products. And then I'm also going to be coming out a mini, mini, very mini story time of something I did to my brother when I was younger. So one second. So the very first step in my skincare product, well, at night, in the morning is this one. At night is this one. So I'm so glad I got into double cleansing because this is cleansing oil and it literally removes all your makeup off. So at the end of the day, when you come home, you don't gotta find no makeup wipes. I don't know what y'all use to take out makeup, but cleansing oil is where it's at. And this is the main, the biggest popular one I've ever seen. And I was like, I'm gonna have to get it. I'm gonna have to get it. And I got it and I love it. I literally love it. It's nice. So yeah, you just put it on, you rub it around, um, and then you end up rinsing it off. But I say before you rinse it off, mix it in, like have some water in your hands and then mix it in a little and it becomes like this purplish color. I forgot what it's called, emulsified? I don't know, but make sure you do that before you rinse it off. And make sure you rinse it off, not put your cleanser over it. Then here comes the cleanser. I love this cleanser. Um, it's not like my favorite skincare product, but it's really nice, gentle. Um, it's just the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer, hold on. All right, so the next step, um, you know what? I'd rather use my fingers than that thing. Because I'm not gonna lie, the wig, the HD wig cap, something about it sometimes. It be like, not coming up, but like, I don't know. Anyways, moving on. So this is only in my night routine two to three times a week. I usually do it like two times because I can barely keep up, but I just remember like, hey, I did it this day. And I'll do it like three days later, four days later to keep it, you know, because you're not supposed to exfoliate every day. But anyways, this is the PHA Resurfacing Glow Peel. I actually love it too. My thing is because I, I think I've only used it, what, three times now? Maybe twice. Like, it hasn't been, maybe two times. I haven't, it hasn't been long I've been using this. Today is Thursday, and I will be using either tomorrow or Saturday. So, I think that would actually make it my third time. You usually keep it on for like 10 to 15 minutes, and then you rinse it off. It's just an exfoliant, I guess. It's a water peel that removes dead skin cells, period papaya fruit extract and cucumber fruit extract i like that now this is always right after the cleanser if you're exfoliating use that then use the the toner but this is usually after the cleanser toner i like this toner i actually do like this toner a lot i mean there's not much to say about it um it's nice none of these have like a bad weird scent or anything um yeah, they really don't. This is nice. You just, I put it on my face um, evenly, and then I usually let it like, you're supposed to let it absorb, like sink in. But once it gets like damp, I would say, that's when you hurry up and go ahead and put on that snail mousse because you're supposed to apply this to your skin when it's damp. So, see how much I've used so far. I, I use it on my chest a little too, and like on my neck and stuff. But you put this product on, you get it on, and then you pat it in. Like you have. You have to pat it in like that's just how it works i guess a lot of people just say don't rub it in so when i if i'm putting it sometimes i put it like that or i just take it on my hands put a little and then pat, 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 pat. now for the last two i'm not gonna lie i really barely know the purpose of this glow serum i think it also ends up helping with um dark spots but this is the oh y'all got some glue this is the second to last step and it is the Beauty of Joseph Joseph Glow Serum. And I really like it. I do really like it. It really looks like it's going down fast, but I barely even use that much. I use two dots every night. Mm -hmm. Then probably my favorite part, my favorite, favorite part, like y'all, this feels so good on my skin. It's the moisture, it's my moisturizer. It's my final step. Um, you know what I mean? It is my final step, but before the glow serum at night, I always use my eye serum. And I'm really new to eye serum, so, I mean, I like it. I just didn't know how to put it on at first, but I did my research on this one. All you gotta do is put like little 
um, dots and go up to your bone and you know pat it in then at the end you can kind of press it in just a little but apparently your skin here is the most like gentle or the most sensitive on your skin or something like that so don't be rough with it don't be like no like i said this is my very very favorite thing um i love it it's just the all-in-one cream this one um I don't have too much to say about it, but I love it. I love that being my, my final step. Obviously, in the morning, my final, final step is sunscreen. I've been using my sunscreen every day. Hold on, I'll probably another layer. Now, if I have any like pimples or anything like that, or I had like a breakout first, when I first started, it kind of healed up a bit, but it was still kind of healing, but it's right here. And I have one like right here. It's still kind of slim. But anyways, this is the dual action acne treatment. I think it's Effaclar, Effaclar Duo from um, La Roche Posay. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, this one has um, what's it called? Benzenol peroxide in it. I don't mind. I feel like the first times I used it, it really burnt my skin. Like it wasn't. Mm -mm. I was like, what is this? What's going on? I thought some I thought I was reacting to the snail mucin or something like that, but my skin was gonna purge anyways. But I think um I was blaming it on purging, but I think this just in general kind of like burnt. Cause like if I can show y'all my skin, you can't even see it's a whole different tone because it kind of like I think it really burnt. I don't really use it like that. But yesterday I used it like on these two pimples and they low key went down. So I was like, okay, I'll stick to using it for pimples. Um it was just little bumps, so I don't know but that is all my skincare and my skin has been doing pretty nice still giving it time of course but like i love all these products and i'm gonna stay consistent my goal is to get rid of my dark spots i feel like they're already fading <laughs> so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace beforehand and i still use one of these razor things to do it I think the one thing that made me say, okay, let me go back to like cutting it while it's on my head was because I think I messed up cutting it this one time and I cut it too close. But honestly, it is what it is. As long as I feel like if it melts, then it melts. Like just cut, cut that out. So I'm going to start in the middle actually. Should I start in the middle? I'm starting in the middle. Oh, is that thunder right here? Anyways, make sure when you're cutting that you cut in... From what I've learned, cutting like a jagged motion because you know, I, you know, I saw this one pose I was saying cutting like that girl was cutting like triangles type shit. I don't know. Anyways, cutting like a jagged motion because it's supposed to resemble like a natural hairline, and if you're cutting like just straight, like girl, who hairline is just just straight? So I'm cutting. I'm almost at the second part. Hello, I can't even see. I should have had like a white thing. I need this. And let's talk about plucking, y'all. I do not really know how to pluck. I be trying to do it a little beforehand so it doesn't look like a total mess. But like, I'm not the biggest plucker as you can see. Like, I just did a couple. And every time I get a wig, I just hope that somehow it arrives pre-plucked. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the thing don't say it, I'd be like, it's low-key people like, girl, no. But I mean, I think I did okay. No, it's really very full. Like, very, very full. I did not. But anyways, it is what it is. And you can always pluck after, like, while it's on your head. So, I guess I wouldn't mind doing that. I didn't realize how small I cut this tab. Girl. I was wondering why I was doing this one for so long. It went all the way down here. Anyways, that is it. Cut. And now I'm about to do the fourth layer of glue. All right, so it's time to tell the story time that I was just mentioning, cause I ain't got nothing better to do with this glue jars. Mm -hmm. I really just be fanning it. I, mean, I just be liking, I like to lay air dry, but you can always fan the glue. Anyways, going back to, <sighs> A lot of times when things happen in Ohio, I just say it was before I was eight years old or it was from when I was eight to before, okay, from four to eight years old, between that, because that's when I lived in Ohio. And I just know that I moved to Texas when I was eight, turning nine, eventually soon that year. 
anyways so it was one day at this house and in ohio we have basements so um we had a basement in that basement it was kind of, it was kind of like our game room da -da -da -da, but it was like really really big it was really really big but we just had this one tv and that tv had this channel that i loved it was literally this barbie channel like you go on the channel you can watch barbie movies barbie uh show episodes you can play barbie games yes on the tv that was my that was my channel y'all so one day i'm just chilling 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 my dad's upstairs my brother is probably out with his friend in the neighborhood because we had a lot of friends in the neighborhood we had a lot and that's how my childhood was so fun but anyways one day i'm chilling playing my barbie games and i come downstairs no and my brother i hear him coming downstairs and he's with his friend luca and suddenly they want to watch something or play some so i'm like i'm watching barbie right now could do it somewhere else or go i don't know so he ends up like, I think he took the controller and they just changed the channel. They got to doing what they were doing. And I was just like, why would y'all do that? I'm sitting here playing Barbie. So now I'm, I'm getting mad. I'm angry. Like my sister is a baby. So I can't just, I'm not just going to go play with her. Like I was trying to sit there playing my Barbie game. So I was mad. I get up there. I'm trying to think like, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Now this is probably why my mom restricted us from watching certain things, but we still watched it anyways. So I had the very smart idea. The very, very smart idea. Hold on. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna fan it a little and put the last layer because I gotta speed this up. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so irritated on myself, but like I can do it right now, but it's just like, girl. This forgot to color the wig cap, but thank God it's brown. So really it's okay. But I also forgot to color to put some makeup inside of the thing of the wig. I like to use this brush and I take my HD concealer. I take my HD concealer in the shade Dark Cappuccino and I put it in here. Put it in here. And I kind of rub it around and play a little bit. Just kind of relax. This is what I use, the Ruby Kisses Matte Powder Foundation, but I have a different shade that I use, and it's all over the place. It got messed up, so I keep it in a zipper bag. I'm pretty sure I use a different shade, yeah. So, I don't use this one. I use the one in the bag. So, I mix it around. And then I also mix it with the liquid one on the plate. And I really could buy the Ruby Kisses um, Matte, like the cream foundation. But I'm not good with matching colors. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. I have to be sticking to what I'm used to. I think this is the last layer of glue that I'm gonna do. So I was like, oh my God, let me hurry up and color this. Regardless, I'm still gonna be putting makeup at the, on the front of the lace after, but it's important to have makeup in here because I need to get it right. And I'm gonna put it just a little bit like right there where the glue isn't and all that. A little. I hate that I forgot to do this. And my thing is, I was gonna do it, and then that's when I started the video. It's really no difference. You can't even see it right now. So to continue the story, I had the bright, bright idea of getting some canola oil out of the cabinet. And at the time, um, once you come out of the basement, obviously it's carpet going up the stairs of the basement. But once you get upstairs, um. See y'all. That's how it is at the bottom. Then I see like a little bit of makeup at the top. I feel like you can kind of see the difference. But anyways, and then once you get to the top of the stairs, you come out. There's like wood. We have wood, but it was like really nice wood. Like it was nice. I really missed that house. So y'all yeah, already know when it's time to put the wig on. Um, this is first, but let me put these ready to go. Um, I do not have my contacts in, so I'm a bit, you know what, I should really just put my contacts in. Cause I've been wearing my glasses all day and I'm really debating if I even wanna put my contacts in, but I kinda do. I'll get this wig on first and then I'll do that. So the band is, this one is adjustable. I usually don't have to adjust it. My bands usually come like just the band, you know what I mean? So anyway. Okay, so I basically have it on um, 
I never really worry too much about how it looks at first because baby this is going to be melted later. It's going to be melted later. And then I don't even have a rat tail comb. I can't find my comb. Because the other night I had it with me somewhere and I had that I, I wouldn't let it go. Like I was I had it in my hand all night. Y'all, anywhere where the glue, like where the lace is not laying down, you can always go put a little glue like right here. I'm about to do that. And put a little bit of glue, wait for it to dry, and then hold it down. But the parts that are, just kind of Now I'm gonna put some glue over here. So I went ahead and put more glue on the parts that were um, standing up. And now it's really time for the melt. I don't know what steps people take, but every time after I put my wig on, I like to go ahead and put some, um, some even, I think I'm gonna use the red one. Okay. Like, I'm not gonna lie, on TikTok I see girls use got to be for this part. I don't know. Okay. All I know is it's time for another melt. So, you know what? I actually like this color. Ugh. Oh, my head is big. My head is big. I'm not even sure if I want to do a middle part. Anyways, let's get this black. And, um, you know what? I'm going to stick beside it. I love gluing it. I love cutting the lace before. I like it before. Anyways. I'm gonna spray some guts to be like this. Cause I think the girl, she sprayed it on the hair, but like, I know it's for the lace. So, maybe it's all over. Me personally, I'm gonna put it on the lace, a little bit on the hair, the front, and then, And I'm also just gonna go ahead and use the black one because this is what I'm used to using. The red one I used to use, so I don't know what's better, but it's more of like, they do what you want. Because at the end of the day, these are all gonna hold it down. So I don't, I don't have one of those small little band thingies, so I was just using a regular wig band. hair in there and stuff but like it's okay it's all good <sighs> um, I'm just gonna take the hot comb to this a little I genuinely like this hair and the color like I it's only like 20 inches but it's still look it's still cute it's given to somebody. Y'all tell me who is given. Or don't tell me what is given until after I get it. I'm not gonna let that burn. I mean, obviously, no. see, I really be arguing with myself all the time. Genuinely be arguing with myself. So, since it's gonna be melting, after I put this hot comb on a little bit more, bro. I must go look for my rat tail comb because I'm gonna need to make this part soon and I cannot find any comb, any brush, anything. It's not even like funny. Okay y'all, so your girl has way less time than she thought and I'm not really wanna rush the install because I take, like the last time I did my week install, it took me like a whole day to even get it right because I had to redo certain things and well, I have to go to church. So I got a rush and my mom needs something. I didn't even think I was going because this is like a four day thing. And I, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna go for the first day. 
but I kept having like on and off, like, should I go, should I go? Like, I don't know. But now my mom called me and she was just like, she needs something. And she's like, you're gonna get here by seven, baby, it's 6.40. I was like, I'm not. And then she's like, hmm. I was like, I mean, I, I can bring, I, I can, but just not by seven. So, <laughs> okay. So I'm literally gonna be having to get ready for that, but it's not like I'm gonna be doing much anyways at the same time. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, so. That's gonna be like off camera type stuff, but it's on there at least, y'all. A bit of a white cast. Well, it's not even a white cast, it's just the color of the lace, but obviously it's just gonna be makeup on that part. And I am gonna do a middle part for today. I would say. Mm. So for the sake of time, I'm gonna end up putting this in time lapse. As much as I wanted to sit here and talk, um, I might talk at the end because I never even got to finish my story, y'all. <laughs> so I know you're supposed to do like a C shape, but like, I don't know if it's, hold on, let's see. If I can do it right here. Ooh, girl, do you not know how to double C? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the story, like voiceover mode, ah, period. Because guess what? I literally never um got to finish the story. So basically, I think I left off where I called my brother and he came running upstairs and he literally slipped and fell. Um, he fell after obviously his foot hit the oil like immediately. I put a lot of oil on the ground, y'all. And he just like, I can't exactly remember his exact reaction. Like he was annoyed, but I was like, like, bro, he's not even calling you. Like I was just mad. Like my brother just dry kind of like shrugged it off in a way. But at the same time, he fell. So I got what I wanted. But mind you, now it's like, okay, joke's over. Now I got to clean up. So I start cleaning up. But as like a little eight-year-old or younger, between the ages of four to eight, um, I don't know how to clean up oil. Like, I didn't know you need soap and water. So I'm just sitting there, like, trying to clean it with paper towels and stuff. And it's just not working, y'all. Like, it's not getting swept up. So eventually, I just, um, I, I clean it up to the best of my abilities and then later on, my mom gets home. She's like, why is there oil over the ground? Why is the floor greasy? Da, 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 da. So then she calls me upstairs. Or my brother told, I don't know if my brother told on me or something. But either way, like, she found out what happened. And my mom was not with that. Like, she's not with that at all. So she gets to explaining how evil that is. How how could I do something like that to my own brother? How could I premeditate? Like, my mom was really baffled because that was, like, really evil to her. And I mean, I don't even know where I really learned that from. But um, yeah, so she was so baffled. She was just like, okay, I'm going to let you choose your own punishment. I was like, ooh, hmm, period. So I chose no TV for three days, right? I said, bro, that's going to be the easiest thing, the easiest thing, y'all. I don't even think I had a device. So for me to think that was going to be easy, no. It was very, very hard. I just could not. No, it was very hard. I was I was literally bored to death for days. Like I don't even know if I had school around that time. I was just so so bored. So I mean that's just really the end of the story. Like I really thought I did something by saying no TV for three days. I really thought I basically got away with it and I didn't. I should have known when she agreed to that punishment that it was actually doing something to me. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy the rest of this um ghetto wig install. Per. Bye y'all. I'm saying bye, like y'all not finna hear my voice in like two seconds. Period. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. And I put some lip liner on with some gloss. And then I just brush my eyebrows. I try I always try to fill in this one a little because y'all know I have that slit that is a bit messed up and it's like the hair is growing back, so it's really at like an awkward phase. But um I don't really know if it's because of the nails that I can never get this. I think it is because, yeah, I think it is because of my nails, but. And then of course, you know what, hold on. Cause the whole band was just stuck. Okay, let me try to do these edges. So I don't really know what y'all used to do edges, but. I just use this mousse. This is literally curl mousse. I use it. And I also use the got to be to hold it down at the same time. So 
let's just try and by the way i didn't even cut these exactly how i wanted them i cut them to get them on my face so i really need to cut them right now some more so i kind of just rub it on there i mean the point of the dots to be going on beforehand anyways was to make sure that right here is laid down but yeah and i just cut these a little shorter but i usually use i just put curl mousse on here acting like that's the main thing this is really the main thing to do the edges that i use but it, it's it's getting a little bit watery i'm not messing with that i'm not i cannot stand doing edges I'm gonna do it to the best of my abilities, put makeup on this, make the part, maybe add some makeup to the part and be, I was saying be on my way. Babe, you don't even know what you're wearing yet, little girl, don't. That's my main problem. Man, I do definitely need to pluck a little bit more, but I can't even do that right now. Cause you see right here, it's just so like, it's a very, very full hairline and I, I know that does usually like mess up the look on people's wigs but like hmm. get a little bit closer yeah, I can see. and I always see people talk about how they take the longest on edges and me too boo like me too I know y'all like fluffy edges you know I'm just gonna keep it like that I'm just gonna keep it like that Let's do the side. No, I don't like edges touching eyebrows, but that's what it's given today, and that's what we're going with. So, because I did cut this one a lot shorter than the other one, and I did just have to take a piece of the long hair and cut it. But anyway, let me decide. Can't tell I'm a bit frustrated, and that's why I haven't made one. You know, and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. This is the third wig install video I have made and have not. I, I didn't post them, I didn't even edit them. I didn't like them. I do the most, cause like in the videos, like I get so frustrated easily. And like I know there's a reason for that, my frustration and stuff, but like to see it on camera is just like, girl, uh-uh. Do not post that. It's looking a lot better though. Welcome, I can let this hair down. So I'm not gonna have any time to put any curls. So we're gonna go, we're just gonna go however today. I'm not gonna lie, this is good because at first, when I was like finna part it, I was like, that might be a huge part. But it's getting pretty. In fact, it actually needs to be plugged. Because that's not even, that's a very small, you know what? No. It's good. I'm just asking my. I really thought I was recording. 
I was just trying to say that. <laughs> My thing is, I don't know how long. I was just, I just talked up a whole storm and thought I was recording. So, okay, cool, cute. So I gotta go throw on a fit real quick and leave. It's raining, I can't. Hold on, someone's calling me. Okay, so y'all, this is the finishing look. I mean, the finished look. Um, I wanna curl a little more because some of them already have these natural curls, but then the front right here wanna be like, why are you embarrassing me? <laughs> but I love it, I love the hair color. Um, probably just gonna try to fix the edges later because I got one that's like fluffy sitting up. This one is, uh, I don't know. I remember I cut this one too short. But anyways, I was probably gonna put some more spritz. I already added makeup, but every time I put spritz, hold it down. I'm gonna do that while I go put my clothes on. Then when I come back, this is about to give no lace. Okay, it's gonna give a little lace because it's not the best quality of lace. But look, I personally think it's given. All right, bye. I'll see you in my next video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this. Really, really hope y'all did. If you have any tips for me, leave them down below. I very much need it. Ooh, I could tuck the first part behind the ear. Just have it like this. And I'm gonna have it like, turn a little so the curl by the front. <laughs> okay, bye. I could call you my